On today's menu, another delicious recipe from your favorite fungi. A scrumptious maitake risotto. Leho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooker.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. It's been such a long time since I filmed a risotto recipe, but I could not resist because recently at my local Costco, I picked up these amazingly beautiful, unique mushrooms. Let's begin. Pour three cups of veggie stock into a small saucepan. Cover and bring to a boil. By having the veggie stock hot and ready, that's why we're not adding cold stock into the hot pan when we go to cook the risotto. Half an onion, finely chopped. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. This here is arboreal rice, and it's got this beautiful, robust kind of texture. No need to wash them out. That starch will give this risotto that kind of silky consistency and texture. This here is one of my absolute favorite ingredients of all time. This is the chickpea miso. This ingredient is definitely not traditional, but this will add that really nice umami, kind of salty, sweet, aromatic kind of addition to the risotto. And like I said in the previous episode, it literally smells like heaven. These are some delicious, smoky, little spicy chili flakes. I like my food a little spicy, that little heat. Of course, this is not the only way of making risotto. This is just one way. And now this is that beautiful, unique, amazing maitake mushroom. I definitely do not see this around my area very often. So when I saw this, I definitely just had to pick it up. These mushrooms are actually really dainty. This will add that incredible earthy flavor and umami, as well as a really unique texture. Definitely one of the more unique and beautiful looking mushrooms out there. I mean, just look at how it naturally just blossoms. This almost looks like a flower. You know, these mushrooms are so elegant that I find when you're hand tearing them, you're kind of preserving its natural beauty. Tear down the mushroom into equal sized pieces. This will ensure that they will cook evenly. Set the hot veggie stock aside. Saute pan. Medium heat. Couple tablespoons olive oil. Onions. Saute for three to four minutes. Garlic. Saute for another minute. A pinch of chili flakes. A pinch of salt. Half cup of Oreo rice. Saute for one to two minutes. Quarter cup white wine. Cook for about a minute.
pour in about half a cup of veggie stock. Give the rice a stir and allow it to absorb the liquid. Add some more veggie stock, about half cup at a time. Repeat the process until you're out of the veggie stock. In the meantime, heat up a non-stick pan to medium heat. Give the pan a couple of minutes to really heat up. Mushrooms. Cook the mushrooms in the dry pan for about 3 to 4 minutes. Remember to keep an eye on the rice. Season the mushrooms with salt and fresh cracked pepper. Drizzle in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Saute the mushrooms for another 3 to 4 minutes. Let the rice absorb the last little bit of veggie stock. The rice should be looking deliciously creamy. Transfer the mushrooms to the rice, saving some for garnish. One teaspoon chickpea miso. Give the pan a good stir and it's done. Plate. Top the risotto with the remaining sautéed mushrooms and some freshly chopped chives. You can now enjoy this delicious risotto with absolute confidence. Man, that smells and looks absolutely incredible. That is so, so packed with flavor. Just at first glance, I absolutely love how visually inviting and just beautiful this is. Those mushrooms just give this dish this really mellow color, but boy, do they add this incredibly delicious flavor and texture. By toasting down the mushrooms dry first before frying it, it really concentrates that kind of umami and that delicious earthy flavor. Then when it's mixed in with that risotto, the rice really picks up all of that delicious mushroom flavor. The onions and the garlic and the chives really just add that punch of flavor. Everything just kind of melts together and you get that little bit of heat and that little bit of kick from the chili flakes. The miso paste kind of melts in there as well and adds this really delicious, savory, salty, umami and a bit of a sweetness. I really cannot get over that beautiful color from the sear on those mushrooms. And the thing with cooking mushrooms is that it gets condensed down when it releases all of that water because it originally looked like this big bowl of mushrooms, but man, when it's cooked down, they look and taste absolutely amazing. And of course, this is a bit of a specialty mushroom, but you can use any sort of mushroom you like. This is definitely one of those dishes that's easy to put together, doesn't require a lot of quantity of ingredients. In a fairly short amount of time, you have this beautiful, delicious dish ready for you. This is definitely one of those casual, humble, yet delicious recipes that makes it so exciting to cook at home. And of course, if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of the Ramen Cookbook, the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, the Young Man Cooking merch, 
as well as the plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out all those things. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.